Henry got in the air, didn't know what to do with it. Jones, the turnaround. That wasn't bad. It took eight seconds to get the first shot off. That's about the norm, I think. All the way to the basket the other way. Kick it out this time for Kimball. Won't go on the three-point try. Fight for the rebound, Oklahoma. Now, immediately, you've got to watch Loyola Marymount because they will press, and they will take the man out of bounds. They want to make sure they make it tough for that inbound pass. Oklahoma having no problem handling the press. Patterson to the baseline, tried to kick it out, turnover, and there's going to be a lot of those. Both these teams force them. Three on one now on the wing, Fryer. Walker handled it well. Fryer got the basket. I think you'll see a lot of baskets like that. And again, the press by Loyola. Watch Oklahoma break an easy layup. No problem, Patterson. Good job by Evans again handling the basketball. Maybe his role tonight is not scoring, it's dishing. Fryer, two. Patterson the rebound. Well, the tempo is just about what we expected. Patterson's been moving his pivot foot just about every time he's touched the ball, but there's been no call yet. Jones did travel. Must be infectious. Patterson passed it on inside, and he traveled with the ball. Now, again, watch Oklahoma come back with their pressure. You know, we talked about turnovers. Right now, Loyola's averaging 20 turnovers a game, but they're forcing 23. That's Paul Westhead. Well, what a job he's done to turn this program around. These people are so excited about this college basketball in this area. We'll become the winningest coach in Loyola history in just a few games. Walker all the way to the basket drew the foul. Watch down underneath. This is the way you handle the basketball. Control it, take it in there, draw your foul. You know, in the NBA, that would have gone the other way. Damon Patterson over there playing, making a good defensive play and the throw with the left arm. You get it and you go the other way with it, but in college basketball, you're going to shoot two. Tony Walker at the free throw line. As you see, Walker gives it up nicely. That perhaps is the big difference in this basketball team, according to Paul Westhead. They're taking care of the ball better. Can you explain to me why Walker is shooting 54% from the field and 43% from the free throw line? I don't understand that. It's beyond me. It's And Gathers, as a matter of fact, has similar problem. You know, he was working out today and was shooting foul shots left-handed. He says he's going to do that the rest of the year. Patterson at the other end. Evans, he'll take that. Not shy. Nice pass. Rejection. Knight with the rejection. Whoa, did he get it up? You know, that's something this Loyola club has not had a lot of, is good quality inside play. And they've got a big man in there that if Knight comes on and plays well, well, you can watch out for this club, particularly if he gets to play him well. West had confided that this probably is his best team here at Loyola. Jones got picked, controls it, takes it, and gets it. That's a walk. Yeah, good call. Evans with a good defensive play. Good recovery. Recognition of where he was going to put the ball on the floor. Terry Evans in the right defensive place. Evans has been a very pleasant surprise for Billy Tubbs. For what it's worth, Loyola's in a man-to-man. -man. Yes. Is that what that is? Henry for three. Back the other way. Walker to the basket. He knows no speed except all out. And we'll come down the other way for Henry. What is that? Three baskets in about eight seconds, I think. Evans with a good steal. He's going up. Sooners by five. Sooners still by five. Evans couldn't get it to go, but Jones controls the long rebound. Good pass inside. Martin with a good catch, and he missed a shot. And it'll be Oklahoma's ball. They say it was on the line. Walker had a hand on it, but... Terry, I want to pass this observation on you, excuse me, but I just want to say that the club really, I think, is going to win this game. Let's, let's toss out right now quality of players because they both got quality players. The club is going to be in the best shape. Which brings up an interesting oh. point about how Paul Westhead brings his team into shape. In the offseason, they don't play basketball. They run track right outside the Albert Gerson Pavilion here. There's a 400-meter track, and he has them do intervals on that 400-meter track, just like the track team. He told us one of his best friends, Kurt Rambis, came out and ran with the team a little bit before he got sent to Charlotte. 
He ran about three or four times and says, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm not doing this anymore. You guys are great. He also said the track was about 40 yards longer than West Ed says it is. He said it's not a normal shaped track. It's an oval, and it's about 480 yards. Meanwhile, a turnover, but from behind, Knight rejects it. Jones comes down with it, gives it up to Martin for the jumper, and has it. So far, so far, Chris Knight's doing what he's supposed to do as a big man. There's a holding foul right there. Skeeter Henry, the man guilty of the foul. Let's take a look under the basket here before. Pretty good battle down inside. Look at Martin right there. Look at Knight reject the ball. Martin goes back and gets it. Jones will kick it to him, and he makes the shot right at the free throw line. Sooners by seven. Kimball has only touched the ball on a couple of occasions. Has it fast handed away by Patterson. You know, Patterson's did a pretty good job defensively on him. I know we've only played just a slightly over three minutes, but to this point, I think he's done an outstanding job on Kimball. A little arm on him, a little forearm to kind of hold him, feel him, make sure he knows where he's going. Kimball and Fryer, sort of the designated shooters without gathers in the ballgame, and neither one has really had a good opportunity yet. Steamer into the lane. Kimball puts it on the floor, takes it to the basket, draws the foul. Nice play. He had the shot, and I'm surprised he passed it up. You know, there are a number of times in that Oregon State game the other night that he would have taken that shot. Tonight, he decides to take it inside. Drew the foul, tried to get the three-point play the old conventional way. 53 points up at Corvallis the other night, and that's a team record, and it broke the record that he set in the game prior, 51 against UC Santa Barbara. You know, he's been, he scored 50 in three consecutive games. They had an exhibition game where he scored over 52. At 57 against Athletes in Action. One. Talking with Paul Westhead about the improvement in Bo Kimball, and he said, well, he's healthy. He had very serious knee problems last year. They would be great for him when he gets Gathers and Kimball both healthy and back in the lineup. Martin's open. Long off to the right side, but Jones the rebound. Sooner's getting a lot of second tries, and that's been a hallmark of their team. Three point try won't go from Henry, and the rebound comes down into the hands of Walker. Three on two now for the Lions. Kimball to the basket. And, and a foul. foul. This is the way you handle the fast break. Watch Walker make the good pass. He sees Kimball making the cut right inside the good angle. Puts his body between he and the defender, draws the foul, and gets the basket. You know, that's a big-time play. You get yourself in a position to be able to make the shot, take the blow, and concentrate enough to get the three-point chance. Early on, that really seems to be a big difference in this team is the way Walker handles the break. They had a lot of problems last year when they had the numbers. Substitutions coming on now for Loyola Marymount is Terrell Lowry who has come off the bench to score in double figures in each of the seven games that Loyola's played this year, comes on. And a turnover. Kimball all the way up. Oh, oh, he missed it! But he got, he got it, it back. back. <laughs> That's incredible. He'll try again, it won't go. <laughs> Underneath. This may not be a Picasso, but it's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and a turnover the other way. Jones was trying to get the ball in the corner to Skeeter Henry, and he just threw it out of bounds. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll catch our breath and let you listen to this. 15-51 remaining. Sooners lead it. Right there, you can see the follow by Kimball. I think the most amazing part of this is the fact he went back and got his own shot after he missed the jam. Now we're back to live action. Where Lowry just missed an open jumper, but the long rebound is controlled by Knight. Lowry, just a sophomore from Northern California, has improved vastly from his freshman year. Kimball having difficulty getting around Patterson. Good move. Nice little pump fake. It must have hurt me. Pressure again. Oklahoma handles it. Patterson from outside nails it at two. Kimball on a wing this time. Pulls up. Will go. Oh, that's a rebound. Whoa. Whoa, was that a great shot? No basket, though. I think they're going to call Knight over the top. And I don't think they're going to give him the basket. Watch Chris Knight follow up on the bowl Kimball miss from the left side. Right there. Good call. He went up over his back. It was a good call. Sooners by three. Jones. 
That's a three. And Evans with the assist. Well, I like the way Evans plays. Fire for three. How are we doing so far? <laughs> My abacus is broken. Fire. Fire had five threes in a row the other night up at Corvallis. That was a two-point try. That was no good. Lowry, good kick out. Fire for three again. Bang! Patterson at the other end. Missed the easy shot. Got it back underneath. And puts it in. Here they come. Three on two. Kimball ahead of the pack. Couldn't get the roll. Kimball has missed a couple of cripples. Here comes Henry. Leave it down the lane for Patterson. Well, it's getting furious now. I mean, if we were averaging eight seconds on a shot, we're down to about six now. We played six minutes, and they've scored 40 points. Patterson right in Kimball's pocket, but Kimball has been able to get around him. There's a good move down the middle. Right to the basket, as advertised. Ball. I think that fouls against Jackie Jones on the inside. He got him with the body. Watch the move again by Kimball out top. He blows right by Patterson. Here comes the, the help from the other side on Jones. You know, what makes it tough when you're trying to defend against a guy like that. You know you've got to have help. And the guys on the inside have got to be aware of where Kimball is on the floor. So you lose a little bit of your concentration just by following him around. You may not be concentrated as heavily on your own man. Tom Peabody comes on. Chris Knight leaves for the Lions. So they'll lose a little bit of size in that exchange. But Covery comes on at the point guard spot, replacing Evans for the Sooners. The thing about Kimball is he can shoot it from outside. So you get up right on him, as Patterson was doing, and he'll go by you. You give him a little bit of room, and he'll nail the three. Well, I've got to say one thing. There isn't a single player on this floor right now, or a lot of them sitting on either bench, they were very shy about putting it up. No, that's it, true. It will go up. I tell you, well, if he gets four passes on any half-court game, that's going to be considered a stall. I think your point is a very well taken one. Here's a turnover. Peabody. Oh, what a save by Peabody. To Lowry. Two on two to the basket. Lowry can't get it. But drew the foul against Jones. Second person on Jones. How about the steal and save by Peabody? Look at this. Flying out of bounds. Well, oh, what a great save that was. Look at a good move down by Lowry down on the inside. And when Loyola gets the numbers, I cannot remember a time in this game that they have not capitalized, either by drawing a foul or making a basket. You know, they're real good at driving to the basket, Barry, and what they'll do is draw a lot of fouls. You'll see Oklahoma, a lot of their guys tonight, the three, four fouls. Wouldn't be surprised if a number of them don't foul out tonight. I started to say earlier, you made the point that this could come down to a conditioning game, and so far it really is looking like that. And all you really have to do is go back and look at last year's game, 63-62 at one point, and then the Sooners blew them out. Well, but what happened last year, Paul uh, told us this this afternoon. He said, you know, we played that game too early last year. We needed a couple more games under our belt to really be in better condition to play them, and he felt a lot better about this game than he did the one of last year. And he says, we have played Kimball. seven games underneath Kimball and Askin. Baseball pass down court. Here's Skeeter Henry to the basket. Finger rolls it in. No, he traveled. No basket. Great steal down inside. Boy, McCovery really picked his spot. And now let's see. I'm must, not have been, sure. must have been a kick. I guess it was a kick. It had to be. Because they've got the ball back. Well, the bottom line is we're tied at 24. 13.07 remaining in the half. Yes, it's true. We've only played seven minutes. Here's Lowry. Good penetration to the basket. Has it off the glass. The cover got away with one there. Patterson couldn't get it. Rebound underneath. Holmes now in the ball game. Kermit Holmes can't get it, but he did draw the foul on Bo Kimball. So 
it is McCovery, Holmes, Henry, Patterson, and Davis in the ball game now for Oklahoma. For Loyola, Walker comes back on, replacing Lowry. Some good minutes off the bench for Lowry. But he's done that in every game. He's come in and played for them. He's given them good quality minutes and good scoring. You know what I like about this crowd? Los Angeles is one of those pseudo-sophisticated towns. You know what, tonight, it's just like a college basketball game in any town USA, and this group in here is charged up. They were really lined is. up two hours before they opened the doors. Absolutely right. Holmes can't control it, but Patterson runs, runs down a long rebound block from behind by Peabody, and underneath the return is up and in by Patterson. Peabody is flying all over the gym. Walker leaves it this time for Kimball, who got it. Lions by two. Patterson, short. Lions ball. I want to point out something to you, and it's a very small thing, but I want you to notice the nets on both of these baskets. They're very open. So when a ball goes through, they catch the ball very quickly, get it out of bounds, and get it up the floor quickly. Some nets you get are very tight, and they won't let that ball come through. Not here. They buy them and stretch them first. Loyola on a 10-4 run now. It's a very good point. Holmes controls the rebound, leaves it for McCovery. Peabody again. There he goes. Patterson. From the corner, won't go. Terrell Lowry has come back on for the Lions and missed that shot. 11.47 remaining in the half. We're tied. One of the things I talked to Billy Tubbs about, you know, they're very fond of saying they don't rebuild, they reload. They do reload. I mean, they basically have quality players. They draw from the junior college ranks a great deal. And they built these teams. And, and, and what they've done over the decade of the 80s has become one of the great college basketball powers in America. They rank right up here with the Indianas, and with anybody else that plays in this country. Louisville, again, two clubs that really have dominated the 80s. You'd have to put Oklahoma up there in that group. Well, the fellow that you talked about at the beginning of the program, Terry Evans, here's a guy, a redshirt freshman last year. Now he comes on, all of a sudden he's putting big numbers up. And when we talked to Billy Tubbs about it, he says a very good reason for that. He played every day last year against Mookie Blaylock. And that's got to make you better. I mean, if you're going to go out and have to defend a guy and have that guy defend against you, you got to remember, he was one of the leaders in the NCAA in steals last year. And the same might be said about William Davis. He was going head-to-head -head in practice every single day against Stacey King, number one draft choice. Well, both clubs had about a two-minute blow right there. They're ready to go back at it. Just put the gloves back on and get in your corners and go, huh? Oklahoma do, doing a pretty good job on the boards, and still they're only tied. 18 to 7 and rebounding, and Jones has five of those 18. Kimball with 12 points so far, and Patterson with 12 points to lead Oklahoma. Coming into this game, Patterson was averaging only three and a half points a game. But he got the start ahead of Davis. Here's McCovery to Evans. Too hard. But a second try by McCovery, and it goes. Smoky McCovery. Fryer for three. That's three of those. Five for five against Oregon State, three for three tonight. He's a little bit of a streak shooter. You know, he'll do that to you. I think he's been on a streak for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Henry tried to take it to the basket. Offensive foul just to add insult to injury. Skeeter Henry looking over at Billy Tubb saying, Coach, now be calm, be very calm. He said, I know I was wrong, but I just had to try it. There's a disgusted Billy Tubbs. Peabody, who has given Paul West had some good minutes off the bench. Leave it this time for Chris Scott getting some minutes. He turns it over. And here come the Sooners. Peabody again. <laughs> I tell you, this is the only team that gets four burns on its nose. He's always aggressive, always on the floor after the ball. Crowd loves it. We were talking in the open about the fact we'd see a, about a shot every eight seconds. It's been a little bit more than that. What are we up to? Five? Five seconds for a shot. Good look inside. Nice move to the basket. Davis playing on a bad ankle. Jones Couldn't get the shot. Yes, Jones has been 
on the offensive offensive boards very hard for the Sooners, but he fell on the baseline that time. Oklahoma's backed off of their press. They're going to go back into what looks like a matchup zone. Not that it matters. This is Scott in the lane with a jumper. Off balance shot. And the rebound comes down to Patterson. Evans, good ball handling right there. Almost lost it. Got fouled. Yep, got fouled. I gave that rebound to Patterson. It was Jones on the last rebound. Tony Walker, I think, committed the foul over there. He had Evans pinned on the sideline and got some help coming. He had to reach out and grab him. Get a little impatient sometimes when you get that trap. Tempo of this game has slowed just a bit since that last time out. Recovery steps in. Too hard. Kimball a rebound. Well, that's a strong rebound for a guy that's only six four and a half. Lowry, good penetration again. Three point try, no good that time by Fryer. His first miss from three point land. Recovery, too hard. And Kimball another rebound. Walker ahead to Fryer. And yeah, they're starting to cover him a little bit better now. And a turnover. Here come the Sooners. One on four. Recovery. Leaves it for Evans, his three. Dead center. You know what's nice about Evans? He's very versatile. He can be the point guard or the shooting guard. Kimball traveled, no call. Fryer tries it, has it. That's two. And another turnover. Fryer getting back very quickly on defense. Great play. I tell you, to be able to shoot that jumper and get back and make the steal is an incredibly gifted athlete right there. That was quick play. Fryer playing only his third game after a broken hand early in the season. Scott underneath goes down in a heap. No call yet. We have a discussion. It is a foul. And a third foul on Jones. Good job of officiating right there. One official went over and asked the other one, said, do you have a travel or do you have a foul? He said, I've got a travel, now I've got a foul. So they called the foul. It's a mixed officiating crew, two from the Western Conference, and Ed Schumer out of the Big Eight. West Coast Conference. It used to be the WCAC this year, the West Coast Conference. Billy Tubbs is saying, make up your mind. Dave Libby and Norm Baruki out of the West Coast Conference. Ed Schumer out of the Big Eight Conference. And Jackie Jones will sit for three fouls. Martin comes back on. Chris Scott getting a little playing time tonight. Freshman, 6'8", out of uh, Union City, California. Too hard. Martin controls the glass. Henry is open. Nice Gives it pass. up underneath to Martin. Nice shot. Good pass, Henry. Good shot, Martin. Kimball right around Martin into the lane, up with the right hand, too short, won't go. Rebound, Scott tries it, he's fouled by Martin from behind. Chris Scott's off the bench tonight, giving some quality minutes to this Lions club. They need somebody like him to come in there on that inside play. They're very physical in there, and Oklahoma will play a physical game on the inside with you. Mike Harris also in the ball game for the Sooners now. How did you know, how difficult is it to set strategy in a game like this? I mean, you got to come down. If one guy gets hot, you just got to walk over to the guy's guard him and say, you got to get on him. I yeah. thought it was interesting that talking about defense with Paul West. I said, how do you play defense against these guys? What do you do? He said, get back. But then we don't do that. <laughs> That's right. You know, he said, and it was a good point. He said, we come forward. We try to get steals in the press. We want to get it up front. Don't allow them to get into their half-court game. Lions having a little bit of trouble problem at the free throw line. Evans, three. Too hard. Martin, a long rebound. He'll try it. Sooners by three. Six for Martin. Fryer for three. He was almost in the parking lot on that one. That is his fifth three-pointer. And we still have eight, eight minutes, 15 seconds to go in a half. Patterson in the lane. Got it. Loyola still pressing. 
Here comes Lowry, leaves it for Knight beautifully, and Knight can't get it with the left hand, but Patterson fouled him. Yeah, there's really no fear in the hearts of these Lions. They will take it to the basket. They could care less about who's down there. Watch Lowry take it strong in here, converging in three defenders from Oklahoma. Good pass, he got it on the other side. It's a good move up and down there. Chris Knight with the basketball, missed the shot, but drew the foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, it's, got, it's got to be a little unnerving if you're a basketball team that doesn't play this style of play to try to get prepared to play a team like this. I asked Billy Tubbs about that, and he says, you know, it's really not tough for us to get prepared for it because we do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Looking at a mirror image of his own team. Knight, incidentally, missed the first free throw. He's an 82% free throw shooter, one of the best on the team. One out of two. by Evan Patterson wide open in the lane right in the lane there's Kimball the other way ahead of the pack 14 for Kimball what well, nice job of handling the ball by Evans look at that pass perfect pass for Jones Terry Evans showing you a little bit of what he's made of whoop can he pass Patterson with the basket now Jones 18 points for Patterson Travel. Lions will have it. 7.20 remaining in the half. Sooners lead it by three. How are you doing over there? Do you drink of water? <laughs> I'm going to slow it down a little bit now. I'm going to take a look at this defense and see what they're playing against. Right? Wrong. Two passes, it'll be up. Well, there's one. Prior. Two. Up. Got it. Nice call. Martin turnaround. Ooh, good roll. Here come the Lions right back. Sooners get back pretty good that time. A two on three and a foul on Harris. Very close. Philly Tubbs says, what do I have to do? You know what I said early on? I said that Oklahoma's going to have a lot of fouls, and they'll have a lot of players with a lot of fouls, simply because of the way Loyola takes the basketball, Loyola Marymount takes the basketball to the basket. You've got to converge, you've got to help on defense, and that's what's causing them to have to go commit those fouls. Skeeter McCovery comes back on now for Billy Tubbs. Billy Tubbs is over pleading his case right now. I think it will be to no avail. I think that was the right call. He's looking for payback, I think. Lowry converts the free throw. Lowry having another good game off the bench. Both of them skinned up. A little blood on the knees. Show you he's done his work for the night. Part of the flying Walendas. <laughs> Working without a net. Too. Without a net, yes. Harris, nice pass to the cutter. Patterson is fouled. Chris Knight, I think, on the arm. Watch the move down inside. This is a good pass. Look at a kick to the other side. There it is, Chris Knight. Tell you what, he got an awful lot of that basketball, too. He's getting a swipe so hard, he pulled that Lawrence Taylor swipe there. Third foul on Chris Knight. Paul Westhead will stay with him. Patterson has it. 19 points. No doubt that the way we're going right now at this rate, both clubs are going to be in the 60s in this first half. Maybe even up into the 70s. Still six and a half minutes to play. And the Sooners are going to get this back. Turnover by Tony Walker. Good job by Evans for creating the turnover, forced him into a walk. Well, 
Marshall Merriman out back in the zone defense. Matchup zone. Nice ball movement by the Sooners and underneath the Martin for the basket. Walker comes around a steamer screen. They're right up on Fryer now. Harris not giving him an inch. Steamer will try it though for three. His first shot attempt of the day. Well, was ball. I'm surprised that Peabody didn't go flying underneath the tables to try to save that one. I guess he saw something that the officials also saw that the ball was going to go back to the Lions. Bo Kimball, after a short breather, comes back. Chris Knight leaves. Remember, he's playing with three fouls, and Paul Westhead will sit him. Yeah, you look out there right now, Loyola Marymount's lineup, and they have four guards in the lineup. Steamer, pretty much, uh, not really a big inside player. I did have a chance to see Loyola a few times last year, and, and this is a better Loyola team than the one that I saw last year. And that's even accounting for the fact that Hank Gathers is not playing tonight. Patterson's third foul, leading scorer for the Sooners so far. Barry, what occasionally gets lost in this type of basketball game is people forget how, how good of an athlete this, these kids are to be able to play this way. You can't play this type of basketball unless you've you got people who can run, who can jump, who can shoot, and who are in great condition. And both of these teams are in great condition to be really at the end of December here. I have to think, for the players, it's just got to be great fun because you got to go nine or ten deep. There's nobody who really gets a lot of bench time. Everybody plays, everybody gets their minutes. Uh, you see William Davis back in the lineup for uh, Oklahoma. Had a badly sprained ankle has kind of had some limited playing time the last couple of weeks. And Billy Dubs wasn't sure whether he was going to play tonight. Really wasn't a factor for the few minutes he played earlier. Good trap. They've got it right there. Good job. Good break by Evan. McCovery gets it ahead to Harris. Here's Davis. Leaves it for Harris. Davis a little bit tentative there. And I would have to think that's because of the ankle. Henry got it. Kimball's open. Can't get it. Henry the rebound. And the foul's going to be called on Peabody. So maybe that was a payback for Jerry Tubbs, or Billy Tubbs, I mean. What did they call Peabody? The human bruise. <laughs> that was a great nickname. I can see why. I mean, the guy's got skinned knees already. Loyola may be the only team to need a cut man. <laughs> Here's McCovery. Sooners have the numbers now. Opportunity jumper for Henry. Oklahoma beginning to stretch it out a little bit now. They've got a six-point lead. Do you know Tennessee just watch this game and forget the score? Absolutely. You, you, watch, you get to watching the game and you forget what the score is. You don't have time to look up at the clock is what really comes down to it. The scoreboard and the clock. I think we've got a double foul here. I think Davis and Kimball are going to get double fouls. Got that right. Now what that creates is a jump ball situation, and then the alternate arrow is pointed toward Loyola. This is Oklahoma's biggest lead at seven points. A six-point lead now, I beg your pardon. Their biggest lead was seven. Fryer tries it too hard. Henry. And Davis fighting for the rebound. Davis controls it. And McCovery is picked clean from behind. I think it was Fryer. Here comes Walker. Three on four. Fryer pulls up. Too hard. Rebound Steamer in the lane. Turnaround won't go. Martin controls. Harris. Good move. Nice finger roll. That was a bad pass coming in bounds. Had nothing on it. Davis tries it, won't get it. Steamer the rebound, close to an offensive foul. That's a travel. Got a little sloppy here in the last couple of minutes of play. Starting to see a few Oklahoma players grabbing their trunks, bending over. Always an indication of a tired player. Kimball and Henry woofing at each other out at center court. Hey, the guys I feel sorry for, the referees. <laughs> Each team with 10 turnovers. Yeah, we were talking to 
Norm Baruki before the game said, you're going to get a workout. He said, yeah, but it's good. It's exciting. Martin off the pass from Henry. Henry's really been a factor. 12 points for Martin now. Steamer will try it for two. Won't go. And a jump ball call, alternating possession this time. Actually, I would have thought that's Oklahoma. It just it went to Loyola a minute ago. Yeah, it has to be. Has to go the other way. That's it, right. It does. Now he's going to flip it back. It has to go the other way now on the other one. And he's still got it pointing toward Oklahoma. And a bad inbound pass by the Sooners. Peabody controls it for Fryer for three. That would have been for four. There it goes. Martin at the other end. And he's fouled. Watch it again. Steamer kicks it out right there. Spryer top gets the three. Watch the other end. A 75, 80 foot pass. Martin grabs a steamer, fouls on the other end. And keep in mind that white line that you saw Fryer have his foot on. That isn't the three point line, it's the maroon line in front of him. Here comes Lowry. Sooner's getting back better on defense now. Lowry will try the three short. That was off of Davis's hands. Davis having a tough time out there. Obviously is bothered, if not physically, mentally, by the bad ankle. 3.51 left. Barry Tompkins with Larry Conley. It's the Bo Show. Bo does basketball here. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't think Bo could keep up in this game. No, I'm telling you. 3.50 remaining. Sooners by nine. And they managed to take the crowd out of the game, at least for the moment, too. Fryer behind a steamer screen, leans in, couldn't get the roll. Nice play. Harris, give and go from Martin. And here come the Lions, three on three. Lowry picked nicely by McCovery, and they say he fouled him. Lowry's going to sky up, but unfortunately he left the ball down where McCovery picked his pocket. Look at this. No foul either. I thought he got away pretty clean. Absolutely. You know, the other thing is tough on players who play in this kind of game. Not only, I mean, just the quick offensive flow that you get into and getting to the basket, but you got to remember that as soon as you make it, you've got to instantaneously turn your mind around and become a defender. And that's very, very hard to do in this kind of game because it's so offensive-oriented. Sooners have really gotten going, too, with Mike Harris, number 20, since he's come on. He's a guy that's only averaged 12 minutes a game for the Sooners, but the combination of Harris, Henry, and Martin has really clicked for them. Harris leaves now, and Evans comes back. Now, the foul problems, I think, probably forced that situation a little bit earlier than Billy Tubbs really wanted it to be. Terrell Lowry converts his sixth free throw. He has eight points. Nice pass by Henry. McCovery. And Kimball controls it. And reaching in is Davis. You know, we talk a great deal about Kimball's ability to go inside and play. Watch him and his rebounding. You can see right here the foul problems that Patterson, Jones, and Knight have right now. Obviously, Oklahoma struggling uh, with those fouls. I like the way Bo Kimball gets inside and plays the game in there in the rebounding edge of it, too. I mean, not only is he a scorer, but he's not afraid to go in and play against those 6'8", six, 6'9", six, guys. And Kimball headed for another big night. He has 18 points, now 19. And he's 4 or 5 at the free throw line. Kind of a quiet 19, too, isn't it? I don't know how anything can be quiet well, in this game. Well, that's true, yes. You know, and, and the difficulty, again, I was talking about not watching the score, is keeping up with who's really doing the scoring because you've got so many players in the game who are scoring. Nice penetration by Evans and the give to Martin. Can't get it. We'll try it again. And has it. And drew the foul. And it counts. All of the above. You'll see Tony Martin be the recipient of this pass right here. Maybe he missed it on purpose. He says, ah, I didn't get fouled. I'll take it to the other side and see if I can draw a foul. And he did. 
big time play for Martin. He has 16 points. And the Sooners back up by eight. Peabody drives for Scott, takes the jumper. And Martin has another rebound. He's got a gang of rebounds. Oh, what Seven a pass rebounds. by Evans. Davis can't get it. Tries it again and gets it this time. Davis starting to get into the flow of the game a little bit more. And it's Oklahoma by 10. Kimball won't go too hard on the three-point try. Peabody gets it back. Underneath the Lowry can't control it. Sooner's ball. Scott leaves and Per Steamer comes back. So too does Tony Walker. Walker replacing Peabody. For the Sooners, Terrence Mullen comes back. Mullins was a starter last year. That'll tell you about the relative strength of the Sooners, and he has been playing extremely well in practice. Lowry chasing Henry that time, knocked it away from behind. Probably a pretty good idea to get a little fresh blood in there, too. Some guy that's not as weary. Two legs. Terrence Mullins just a little slow to get started. Incidentally, his mother is here in the stands tonight. He's from San Francisco. And this is the first time his mother has seen him play. Martin got the basket and again drew the foul. No basket, they say. He'll have... And they call the foul I'm on Martin. Sure. I'm not sure why this occurred. The ball's up. It's rolling around on the rim. I can't understand why he didn't get the basket. Should have. Foul was called away from the shot on Davis. And it was Davis's third foul. And they did not allow Martin's basket. Yeah, that ball was rolling on the rim. I'm not sure why he took the basket away. So Bo Kimball will go to the line. Billy Tubbs again, seemingly with a pretty good argument. Now, on this particular situation, I think he's right. I mean, how have these two teams been shooting free throws? Loyola 14 of 19. Oklahoma, though, only 2 of 6 at the line. Kimball has this one. 21 for Bo. Barry, I go back to that point I made earlier. I don't want to become redundant with it, but I think the reason they get to the line as often as they do is because they take the ball to the hole so fiercely that it actually draws a lot of fouls from the defenders. And that's why Oklahoma's got a lot of people in foul trouble right now. Bo Kimball will try to make his 22nd point of the night and does with 218 remaining, and it cuts the Sooners' lead to eight. Is he on his way to a fourth straight 50-point game? He could be. Pick clean by Walker to the basket. Got it. What a play by Walker. And that brought the crowd back into it. Henry, a nice penetration, no call. Holmes missed the basket. Long rebound, Loyola's ball. And we're going to take a timeout with a minute and 53 seconds remaining in the half. Yes, the half. 63. Tompkins with Larry Conley. We're at the Albert Kirsten Pavilion in Los Angeles. Oklahoma 63, Loyola Marymount 57. Yes, it's not yet halftime. Coming up at halftime, John Saunders will bring you up to date on all the scores and highlights from all around the nation. And we'll show you a couple of highlights from this game as well. There have been many. Kimball with 22. Patterson averaging only three and a half coming in here. The leading scorer so far with 19 for the Sooners. Martin has 17. Fryer has 20 for Loyola. Kimball, too hard. And Steamer's going to be called for that foul. Pretty good move by Kimball down inside there. I thought maybe he was going to get the ball and make that good little turnaround jumper. Yeah, you know, that would have given him 24 points. I, he's well on his way to I'm serious. Another 50-point right. game. Look yeah. at his foul problems right here. You can see Oklahoma's got three guys in trouble, but Kimball and Knight with three each. And you got to remember, Kimball's still in the ball game with those three fouls. Yeah, that's really significant. He absolutely cannot afford to pick up a fourth foul because with Hank Gathers out of the lineup, Loyola is a little bit lean in the shooting department. Fryer is a guy who can shoot it. Kimball can shoot it. And Lowry can shoot it off the bench. But those are the consistent shooters. Martin misses badly.
Walker knocked out of bounds. There's a turnover. Three on one for the Sooners. Henry. Nice play. Henry, good athletic move to get that one off. He avoided the collision and laid it up off the glass. Martin went for the steal, flew by. Fryer in the corner, cross court for Peabody. Steamer the rebound. They'll get a second try. Fryer in traffic through the foul. You know, the thing you have to worry about when you play two clubs like this, you can get up 15 points and it doesn't mean a thing. Nothing. I mean, they could come back to you on you so quickly. I mean, the other day in the Loyola game at Oregon State, I mean, they got down and fought their way back, went ahead in the ball game. Incidentally, that was an excellent win for Loyola. And talking with Paul West, that he feels one of the best since he's been here on the Loyola Marymount campus. Kimball will sit, I would say, likely for the rest of the half. He has three fouls. Jeff Fryer with 20 points. But you know, as well as Kimball played in that ball game, as many points as he scored, Gary Payton had 48. And I know you like him a lot as a player. I have for years. Just a terrific player. He's grown three inches since he enrolled at Oregon State. Went in there at about 6'1", and now he's right up there around 6'4". And he's tough. He's an in-your-face player. Sooners with the ball and the lead. Evans with a good move. No foul. Whoa. Henry underneath, Martin is picked. Loose ball. Holmes picked it up. A jump ball call alternating possession goes to the Lions. Officials doing a pretty good job. I have to think this is not an easy game to officiate. Well, Paul West had made a liar out of us, didn't he? How about that? He's gonna get him right back in the game. Hey, maybe he puts him in on offense, takes him out on defense. Exactly no? right, two platoon basketball. Tubbs has been flirting with that for the better part of this first half. The old saying, me thinks thou doth protest too much, may apply. A little Shakespearean there. Not huh? bad, That's huh? all right. I think Tubbs is upset with the fact that maybe he's had a lot of fouls blown his way, but not too many going in the other direction. He might have had a case on a couple of them, but... He's been complaining about every call. I guess, I, guess that, I guess that really is part of the job of being a head coach. Try to get some paybacks. Try to get the officials at least thinking about you. Well, now Loyola with a chance. Loyola Marymount's got a chance. With six down, two threes to tie the ball game going into the halftime. Walker. Lowry travel. That was a real opportunity there, as you mentioned. And here comes Kimball out. He is. He's playing on offense and setting him down on defense. That's an interesting uh, strategy, you know? Yeah. It's I guess when, when you're a little bit thin on the bench, maybe you can't reach down and get those guys. It's a good idea to play that way because most of your fouls are going to occur on defense anyway. And I would say it's likely they told them, don't take it too hard to the basket. If you're going to shoot it, shoot it outside. Here come the Lions off the turnover, three on three. Lowry all the way. I guarantee you he's going to take it hard to the basket. Ten for Lowry off the bench. Jumper is up and in by Mullins. Terrence Mullins nails his first shot. Sooners by six, 15 seconds left. Lowry thought about it. Now he does it. And he gets it for three. He had to wait until somebody guarded him. <laughs> Mullins again for three. What a finish. Unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Halftime. And it is the Oklahoma Sooners 70. And Loyola Marymount. 60. Open the doors of the Albert Gersten Pavilion here. Very warm day in Los Angeles. To keep those doors open, these players may wind up in San Diego. Patterson. Well, what a game right he where he left off. Isn't he having a great game? And a turnover. Steal by Henry. Patterson, Patterson again. again. Here we go. <laughs> Stepped on the line. Had a lot of that tonight. I think Patterson passed up an easy shot there. He should have gone ahead and taken that one. Oklahoma's going to open the second half with a little bit of pressing. 
There's Walker, nice penetration. Fryer for three, won't go. Knight the rebound and a putback. Look out, Henry's open. Right back, and that time Oklahoma out Loyola to Loyola. <laughs> Good. There's Walker, three on three to the basket, won't go. Steamer knocks it out nicely for Kimball. Nice play by Steamer. He'll try it. Short. Third try, Lowry. Or rather, it was Walker, not Lowry. This is Kimball. Still, they can't get it, but that's going to be all. Here comes Evans for the Sooners. Out ahead of the pack, Henry again. Henry with 15, and the Sooners burning Loyola in the transition. Fryer throws up a three-pointer that's well short. And the Sooners out of the blocks quickly, and Loyola, conversely, very cold. The one thing that was really the bright light in the beginning of the second half was the fact that Loyola got on the offensive blast, which they did not do in the first half. Oklahoma looking the defense over. First time they've done that tonight. Martin pushed off, got away with it, missed the basket. Rebound still loose. Henry controls it. Evans three. And Knight the rebound for the Lions. Well, club's a little cold. I think mean, maybe uh, you think maybe that fatigue's catching up a little bit. They did have a pretty good blow at halftime. Fryer leans in, draws the foul. Friars had some tough shooting luck in that uh, corner over there. Watch him down low. Well, he gets Evans right up in the air. Good pump fake. He got two good fakes. And Evans came back and got him on the arm. You know, the one thing about Friar you got to be very concerned about. You know he's going to light it up once in a while in that corner. So you got to go flying out there to go get him. Then all of a sudden he'll just simply fake you and come back to the inside on that baseline. And you, you see, know, he, he uh, broke a finger, the fourth metacarpal of his shooting hand right there. And you can see it wrapped up. In fact, he did that on November the 25th. He's had that thing wrapped up. And it may affect his shooting a little bit. It certainly doesn't affect uh, the number of times he puts it up, but it may affect it as, as effective. Has managed 22 points tonight. Henry right across the paint with a nice shot. Henry with 17 now. All the way to the basket. Walker went down hard. Walker does a good job of running this club. He really is very, very heady. Knows where he is at all times. Martin on the blocks, won't go. Follow won't go by Patterson. And here come the Lions, three on three. Fryer for three, short. Knight turnaround. Nice touch by the big man. Looks like I said, if they can get Knight to play, they're gonna have a pretty good year. Patterson with room, missed the shot. And a foul called on Martin. Martin over the top, his third. Number 15, Tony Martin. We're having a real convergence at the top on the fouls here. Everybody seems to be moving toward that, toward that fourth one. We got four players, maybe five now with three. Davis with three, Jones with three, Patterson, Martin, and Evans. Kimball. Second try, Fryer. Nice little pump. He'll talk about that all night. Forget the threes. Did you see my rebound? Did you see how strong I went up and got that ball? Double clutched it too. Lions try to trap. That's Jones. Three. How about that? You get a guy who is six eight and can go out and shoot threes. Here's Knight travel. Now the Lions are going to stay with their press. Beautiful play by Evans. Beautiful play by Evans. And Skeeter Henry, who has been mouthing with Bo Kimball all night. And Kimball steps in to try to be a peacemaker. Evans drew that foul just perfectly. Watch it again. Walker and Evans right here. A little collision on the backside. Evans goes down. Walker plays blanket. Again, look, gave him a little touch on the back. Yes, of the he head did. Actually, too. I didn't see that when it first happened. A little love tap. Just let him know he's around. Nice pass by Henry. Nice shot by Martin. Tony Martin. 
Now you don't pass the ball to the center in the backcourt. Give it to the guards. I think maybe Tony Walter got himself in trouble right there. That was the only outlet he had. Oklahoma looks like they're standing around on defense a little bit. Steamer takes it to the hoop too hard. Gets his own rebound back, though, and a lot of traffic. Puts it up, has it rejected by Henry. Walker runs it down. Here's Kimball. Nice move by Kimball. Henry again, turning it loose, going to the basket is undercut. Watch out now. Henry very upset that he missed the jam. Fryer got in under his legs, and I thought there might be some fireworks. Watch Fryer catch up on the other end. Henry with a good catch over the shoulder. Pretty good play. No intentional foul there. He was going for the ball. Henry's just upset he didn't get the jam. You're right. Henry has really been a factor. Starting at about midway through the first half. He has 17 points now and six assists. Here's Lowry coming back. And Walker leaves. Well, Lowry had an outstanding first half, too. I think we'll probably end up saying that about a lot of guys tonight. I think so, yeah. A lot of great athletes in this game, no question about it. Henry has his 18th point. Got them both. Time out on the floor, 15-50 remaining, 84-76. Sooners lead. Oklahoma leads Loyola Marymount, 85-76 in this L.A. shootout. Let's watch it again. Bo Kimball, who's the nation's leading scorer, on his way to his 25th point right here. He's shooting and averaging 34 a game so far this year. And he's well on his way to getting his average, I can tell you that. I guess just about everybody in America at this point knows that Bo Kimball and Hank Gathers were high school teammates. Came out to the West Coast not to go to Loyola, but went to USC to play for Stan Morrison. Morrison left, so did Kimball. And Gathers, they wound up here, sat out a year, and have played two brilliant seasons at Loyola. Jumper from the corner is up and good by Fryer. Henry ahead of the pack again. Henry releasing just about every time down, and Loyola has not caught up with him yet. Fryer floats it up. Kimball controls it. Got underneath, got it back, and put it in. Nice effort by both Kimball. Jones, easy. Too easy. Knight the rebound. Here comes Lowry. Evans picks it. Knocked out of bounds by Kimball. Oklahoma's ball. Discussion right here. It is going to go to Oklahoma. Did you notice when these clubs take these TV timeouts when they come out, they just come with a rush? Then they kind of settle down. They play a regular game of basketball, true. which probably means about five or six passes. Ooh. Patterson off the glass. It's good. He's fouled. It counts. Well, what a game Patterson is having. Damon Patterson, Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'll tell you what, this guy's having a great game tonight. Watch this move. Goes right down to the baseline, takes a look. I don't know. He had pretty good position. Steamer? Really good. Patterson's high game coming into tonight was seven points against U.S. International. I think you and I might have been able to score seven against U.S. International. I think anybody that plays U.S. International is able to get that many. They seem to be the designated opponent for running teams like Loyola and Oklahoma. Oklahoma ran up 173 on them this year. Both of these clubs have played a common opponent, UNLV. Oklahoma beat them, and UNLV beat Loyola Marymount. Steamer missed the finger roll, and Martin controlled it. Here comes Evans. And they snuck McCorvey along the baseline that time, but Henry didn't see him. Davis back in the game, too, at the pivot. Henry for three. Got another one. Henry really lighting it up in the second half. 24 for Skeeter Henry. Here's Fryer, short from three-point land. Sooners now lead by 12. Henry is short. Steamer is the rebound. Henry's slow getting up. Now he's all right. Fryer will try the three again. Won't go again. He's, well, he's cold. Had a tough luck. He's missed about six in a row from over there. Davis down low, easy basket. Nice pass by Lowry to Peabody on the wing for the basket.
No foul into the Oklahoma's ball. Well, you know, the, the hand is considered part of the ball, and if, in fact, the guy does hit it, and I think that thought maybe Steamer did get a lot of the hand. Ball's on the, hand's on the ball. You hit the hand, goes out of bounds. Good Tell you what, the official will stand right there. Henry tries this one, that won't go, and the rebound comes down to Kimball. Now it's Walker back in the game, fast handed away by McCorvey. McCorvey, I beg your pardon. Nobody seems to be wanting to take a breather. They all want to keep pushing the ball up the floor. Kimball works on Davis into the paint, shovels it out for and shot. drew the foul. Brilliant shot. Is that getting 27 now? 29 and going to the line. Both Kimball with a third. good move right here. He got around Davis. Martin was there to try to help. Drew the foul. Martin's fourth foul. Patterson also has four. And Jackie Jones comes back on. You know, the possibility looms that we may get down to the subs determining who's going to win this game. Because if, if this situation continues on both sides, a lot of the starters are going to be out of there at the end of this game. Very true. There's the numbers on Kimball. And Gathers, of course, not playing for Loyola. But on the other side of the coin, William Davis, who was the leading scorer and rebounder for Oklahoma, has really not been a factor playing on a sore ankle. That's Mullins to the basket, won't go. Davis got it. Davis did that just to make a liar out of me. Kimball off the glass again. Nice pass by Peabody that time. Good cut by Kimball. Always keep your head up. Your eyes open, you may find a guy open. I know that sounds simple, but so many times it doesn't happen. Scott trying to overplay Davis, fouled him from behind. Scott's got a lot of problems down inside. William Davis is an excellent post-up player down there. He's 6'9", he's got a lot of weight. He throws it around in there pretty good, and Scott doesn't have that kind of weight to bulk up and handle it. Sooner's very deep. They have gone... About 10 players deep tonight and haven't dropped off a bit. Here's Davis down low again. Fine move by Davis. Eight points for him, and he is starting to get on track. Walker at the other end drew the foul. But again, Loyola Marymount continues to push the ball into the middle, drawing fouls from Oklahoma. Yeah, the fouls really, as you pointed out, could really be the story of this game in the end. Well, Oklahoma's got 98 points. They're two away from that magic 100 that they love to hit. We've still got 12-18 left to play. Nice inbounds pass, but Peabody couldn't get the shot to go. And Davis, who's playing well right now, has the rebound. Ahead to Jones, tried to loft it up for Henry. Henry couldn't quite get to it. Hit the bottom of the board, goes out of bounds to Oklahoma. I'm not sure why he tried the lob pass. The bounce pass would have gotten him an easy layup. Here's the field goal percentages in the second half, and Oklahoma out shooting Loyola. You know, most of those misses by Loyola Marymount have really been Fryer in the corner. He's missed at least six shots that I can remember in the corner. And don't you know he'll keep putting it up, though? Oh, yeah, no conscience. Chris Knight back in for replacing Kimball. Bo Kimball will sit. Chris Knight will come back on. This is not a lineup of shooters right at the moment for Paul Westhead. Lowry, probably the best shooter out there. There's Davis again. Couldn't get that one, though. And the rebound. Jones fouled from behind. That's Jones' fourth foul. Been a tough day for Jackie Jones. He missed the bust to the shooter round. Coaches were not real happy about that either. No. He wasn't real happy. He had to pay for the cab to get there. No, he wasn't. And apparently, he only missed it by, by literally by seconds chased the bus for a little while and they wouldn't stop for him. And he was not a happy camper when he finally got here this afternoon. Obviously, Bo uh, Kimball came over and had a little conference with Paul Westhead during that uh, flurry. He got his message. He's back on the floor again. 12 minutes remaining. Sooners lead by 11. And Knight threw that one away. And we'll take a timeout with 11.54 remaining now, 98.87.
Barry Tompkins, Larry Conley, Oklahoma leads by 11 with the ball. Here's Henry, leading scorer for Oklahoma, and Lowry reaches in and fouls it. Well, it's interesting. The officials letting him play quite a lot prior to that, and that was a little bit of a ticky-tack foul. I thought it was, too. I, there's a lot more mayhem going on underneath the basket than what happened right there in midcourt. Here is what could be the story, though, as you see. Three Oklahoma players with four personal fouls. Kimball had three with about three minutes to play in the half and has not picked up another since. Davis down on the block, surrounded. Nice he gave pass. it up beautifully oh. to Hughes. What a great pass by Davis. It's obvious the game plan of Oklahoma is to go inside. They've really been pushing it in there. Kimball. Bo Kimball with a three-pointer. 35 for Bo and a turnover. And Walker traveled. Bo Call made the basket. And we're back to an eight-point game. And Loyola Marymount came out with a press right out of that timeout. Got the turnover. They're back to eight. You're right. Here we go. Here's Henry. Pump fake in the lane. Got another one. Lowry, the baseline, and the reverse layup. Nice play by Bo Kimball. Slapped it ahead for Knight. Another turnover. Kimball back. Three more. No. And that's going to be the Sooner. Lowry will sit for the Lions. Pair Steamer comes back. Henry now with 26 points and six assists. I think we've got Kimball right on his average, don't we? He's averaging 34. He's either got 33 or 34 right now. 35 is 35. Kimball has. Henry tries a three and nails it. 29 for Henry. Here's Fryer back in the game. Got a man by him. Still, somebody got a handle on it. I think Davis might have gotten a hand on that ball. And here comes Evans. Mullins for three. No. Walker turns it over. Mullins gets it back. And an offensive foul called on Mullins. And a technical foul on Mullins. And they did call it. Bo Kimball was asking for it. The official from behind, I believe, did call the technical. That's a frustration technical for Terrence Mullins. Yeah, it really was. You know what happened? He did charge, but somebody grabbed him by the arm before he charged, and that's what he was trying to get across to the official. He'd have no part of it. Now watch Mullen miss this shot right here. You'll see the carom come straight back. He goes for the rebound. He gets the steal, goes back inside. Now there's the push off, but what happened on the outside, I think Walker got him on the arm. This could be a big turnaround. Kimball converts the first technical. Remember, every technical is a two-shot technical in college basketball this year. Kimball gets them both. And now there'll be the personal foul. That must have been just the uh, sixth team foul. Well, no, wait a minute. They've got seven up there right now. They do have seven up there, so it should be a shooting foul, but apparently it is not. So Steamer will inbound. No, they called player control. It was an offensive foul. Right. That's right. It was a player control foul. Steamer down on the blocks. Nice pass underneath the Kimball. He's got it. He's fouled. They're going to the line. Unbelievable! Oh, what a move! You know, it's almost a cliche to say players play bigger than their size, but I think here's a living example. I tell you, it was a great pass by Steamer, too, to getting the ball down on that baseline. Kimball will go to the line to try for his 40th point of the night. And he's earned them tonight. I shudder to think of what the high school team that Kimball and Gathers played for in Philadelphia, Dobbins, was like. You know what? One of the officials just stopped play, and he said, I want you guys to have conversations. I want all this jabbering. I want this talking to stop. And I want all the little petty things that are going on off the court to stop. Good idea. Norm Baruki. And there is Hank Gathers looking on. Talked to Hank while he was warming up. He said, I'm going for 20 points and 10 rebounds just in the layups. I asked him tonight if he might play. He said, nope, this is it for me. This is all I'm going to do. 
He's back to practice on Monday. But what a potent pair those two will be the rest of the year if Absolutely. they stay healthy. And I'll tell you, Hank Gathers, a quality individual. First class human being. Evans, three, too hard. Ninth the rebound. Oklahoma only getting one shot in the second half, but they're shooting a higher percentage. There's Pryor, very short. Nice follow, Kimball, won't go. And a foul's gonna be called, I think, on Steamer reaching in on Davis. And that's only the fifth team foul against the Lions. Six-point game, Lions just will not go away. By the same token, their biggest lead has been only two points. Here's Henry, he'll take it. But he missed it. Rebound kept alive, chased down. Sooners control it, it was Holmes. Davis down low, blocked from behind by Kimball, but Kimball got him with a body, that's gonna be his fourth. And that is a very significant foul. Well, it was the kind of foul where he was trying to help his teammate. He could see that Davis was going to try to get him on the inside and post up in there. And really, there's no way that Scott can handle or Steamer can handle this right here. Kimball trying to give some help, committed the foul. He did get all ball with the hand, but he also got Davis with the body. We'll leave Kimball in there. I guess he just about has to. You know, he's only uh, down by six right now. He pulls him out of there. He really has no one who can shoot the ball. Jenny, we want Hank. Not going to get him tonight. And Hank would love to go out there. Great competitor. In and out. Steamer the rebound. Here comes Lowry. That's Peabody. Uh, Peabody. Pushed Henry from behind, no foul. Lot, very physical game. Peabody actually made two fouls down there. I think Peabody makes at least two every time he goes up and down the floor. Good play to slap the ball away by Peabody right there. Look at this move. Good hustle, really, on the part of both clubs. And very slow to get up. It's Henry. Cramp. Yeah, I believe it's Henry. Skeeter, he Skeeter had one. He had cramp. one a little bit earlier too. I don't. I, that may be more to cramp. No, it's not. It is a cramp. What does that hurt? Get it right in the calf of the oh. muscle, and it just it just will not go away. It tightens up, and it really you have to have a massage of some type to just relax that muscle. I mentioned a little bit earlier, he came out from a rebound rather slowly, and that is a painful thing. Henry with 29 points and 18 of those 29 in this half. He's really been more than just a factor for Oklahoma in the second half. Well, on Wednesday, the 27th, the Sugar Bowl Classic, LaSalle and Ohio State. I get to go down there and do that game, as a matter of fact. Good for you. Another trip across the country. Am I excited? A little trip to Antoine's, maybe? Huh? I might have time to do that. Missouri and Memphis State, the number four and number 17 ranked teams. You're doing that one. I'll be in Memphis uh, that week. Well, in fact, right after Christmas, the 27th. That's two good teams, too, right there. And then December 27th also at midnight, right up the road in Fresno, California. It'll be UCLA and Fresno State. UCLA won another ball game tonight. They beat a very tough Cal Fullerton team. And Fresno State can be tough at home. Four-point game here while... Skeeter Henry is being tended to. It's not an incapacitating injury, but it's a very painful injury. I think they're about ready to lift him up. Yeah, here they go. And there's not much you can do about that either. Liquids, I guess they say. Drink a lot of liquids. Well, the most immediate impact you can have on it is really to get the muscle to relax. It stiffens up and it becomes very taut. Meanwhile, the story of this game, nine minutes and eight seconds remaining. Four-point game. Patterson comes back. They don't drop off a great deal with Damon in there. He's got 23. What a first half he had. And Henry just picked up the slack in the second half. And 
and again trying to get it down low, and they've been doing that very successfully to Holmes. Holmes is going to get the offensive foul. Yes, he is. On the push off. Go one and one on the other end. It's not a player control. You know, Loyola Marymount got back in this basketball game in a hurry. And what I talked to earlier about the way that they come back, I mean, they can really hurt you with a real blitz streak. They'll hit you with about four or five baskets, and all of a sudden, your 10 point lead is two. Started with that technical foul. So Tom Peabody, who has been a factor despite only four points. Yeah, you got to love a guy that goes out there and just sacrifices his body every night. That's basically what he does. Blue collar guy. I think what they ought to do is tear up part of the floor and give it to him when he graduates. Here's Davis, got a little penetration as the man ran by him. Patterson gives it up for Evans for three. Couldn't quite get a nice follow underneath that time by Patterson. And Skeeter Henry will come back. And that's good news for Oklahoma. Watch this shot on the outside by Evans. It misses the first time. Almost goes in on the rebound. Watch a tip in by Patterson. Oh, is that a free play or what? Perfect Ooh. timing by Damon Patterson. He's having a career tonight. Steamer got a man in the air. Didn't take the shot, but Lowry will. And got it for three. We might have been conservative when we said 260 points for these two teams, Larry. What do you think? Henry is hard off the rim, and Kimball the rebound. Well, Kimball's had a great game, not only scoring, but the rebounding, too. Fryer can't get it to go again, and he is ice cold. And that would have given them the lead. that Sports Center will be coming your way immediately following this game. Patterson, the jumper, too hard. Davis fights for the rebound, bounced off his head, bounces off Peabody's shoulder. He controls it. Patterson gets a hand on it. Kimball comes away with it. And a foul on Henry reaching in. Henry's third. You know, no one really had control of the basketball from the time the ref left the free throw line from one end to the other. It was like five different sets of hands that touched it. Finally, Kimball came up with it. Billy Tuff sitting there thinking and strategizing. Forget it. Just go play. The thing he's got to be concerned about, he's beginning to get some people in some serious foul trouble. Kimball's line's not too bad. 40 points, 15 of 17 from the free throw line. Not too bad. And remember, this is coming on the heels of a 53-point effort, a 57-point effort, and a 51-point effort. Yeah, you know, they get Gathers back in the lineup. He's going to throw his 30 in every night. And if Kimball continues his onslaught at 40, let's say, that's 70 points between two guys. It's in both. We're tied at 107 with seven minutes, 47 seconds remaining to be played. Listen to the cut. Well, we've, we've played all this time, and there's still 107, 107. Watch this flurry right before this timeout. How many hands touch it? One there. There's two. Here's three. There's four. And Kimball comes up with it at the end. And what does he do with it? Takes care of it. He goes from one side to the other, goes in, draws the foul, and makes two free throws. You were talking about how quickly a 15-point lead can disappear. Loyola has made it disappear. 20 to 7 in the last four minutes. Oklahoma's gone very, very cold. Look at the free throw differential here. 31 to 38 for Loyola Marymount. Difference in the game so far as Loyola's concerned. Here's Henry on the dish that time to Patterson down the lane. Fryer, why not? Over and off. Foul was called on Peabody. And it'll be a shooting situation. So both teams now in a bonus situation. There's a chance for uh, Loyola Marymount to take their first lead with Pryor shot that three-point goal. In fact, he had one earlier that would have given them the lead. It's been a tough second half for him tonight. If he'd have been anywhere near what he's capable of doing from that range, Loyola Marymount could have been up by five or six right now. 
Peter Henry's come back pretty good. Blake doesn't seem to be bothering him right now. They're the leading scorers. Henry who just made his 30th point for Oklahoma. Kimball with 42 and playing with four fouls. Two three zone by Oklahoma, and they're dropping off a of fire a little bit. Steamer tries it, nails it for three. Just when you thought it was safe to back off. Yes. Here's Henry, two on one now for the Sooners. Henry, nice penetration from behind. Peabody got the ball, but he also got Henry. You know, that's the other thing you gotta be worried about. If, if you're shooting the ball and you don't see Peabody in front of you, he's somewhere behind you. You gotta be really, you gotta be very careful about this. Here comes Peabody flying through the air. Well, that was awfully close to all ball, too. Fryer will sit down. And Chris Knight will come back for Paul Westhead's Lions. Take another look at this last sequence. Now watch Peabody from the right side of your screen come flying through the air. There's the foul committed from the back side. Henry having his biggest game of the year. Also, his previous high was 25, also against U.S. International. But I guess everybody had 25 against U.S. International. Sooners by three, coming down toward the seven-minute mark. Kimball got Henry in the air. I'll tell you what, you've got to take it. I mean, you got to go for the fake. You're afraid they're not, not to take it. Nice pass by Knight underneath the Kimball, no call. Lowry steps in front. Passes underneath to Walker. Great pass by Lowry. Well, Lowry almost got the steal right there. Martin down on the blocks against Steamer. Oklahoma with another try, and it's Davis who makes good on it. Ten for Davis now. It's a long, good move by Evans. He really forced that turnover right there. Tony Walker was trying to avoid the collision. Picked up his foot. Travel the basketball. Oklahoma will get it back with a three-point lead. 21 turnovers. Here's another one. All the way to the basket. Bo Kimball. Martin the other way. Pick from behind, two on one now for the Lions. Here's Lowry to Walker. And he missed it. Oh, he missed an easy lane. But he got it back. And another turnover. And ahead it goes to Davis all by himself. Give me a breather. <laughs> but again, three point lead sooner. Three point try, Lowry is short. Long rebound, Knight controls it. Tries to put it back up, no call, Davis has the rebound. Davis playing well in the second half. Here's Henry, leaves it for Martin, who's fouled by Steele. What a pace. What a pace is right. We'll take a timeout. 5.28 remaining. 117 Sooners, 114 last game. And it really could depend on the benches of these two clubs as to who's going to win it because it's only a three point differential right now. Oklahoma's going to shoot a couple of free throws here. Tony Martin's going to walk to the line and shoot them. And coming up right after the game, we'll take you to Sports Center. Tom Meese will tell you everything that happened in the world of sports today. Pretty good football game that you saw here on ESPN before us down in Houston, Texas. You'll see the highlights of that. Buffalo wins its division. Shutting out a hapless New York Jets team. You'll see that. Fryer comes back on. See if he regained his shooting touch on the bench. You know, all the times you can go over there and sit and relax a little bit, maybe get a little bit of a confidence-building talk. And then you can go back out there and shoot the ball a little bit better. And I think that's what they try to do with Fryer on that particular trip to the bench. We've been talking about heroes in this game and they are many but Martin certainly one of them now 20 points and 12 boards steamer looks at where the three-point line is decides not to take it but you know Fryer will still can't get it night the long rebound 
Fryer still will not be reluctant about putting it up. Steamer's going to put it up. Made the last one. Can't get this one. And a long rebound. A third try. Here's Kimball. He'll try it. It's short. Three chances that time for the Lions. Came up empty. I think maybe those legs are getting a little weary. Fryer, well, oftentimes when you're shooting the ball short, it means that your legs are tired. Nice pass by Henry. Behind the back to Martin. He's fouled. Knight, I believe, was the man who fouled him. Fryer has now missed eight straight three-point tries. Watch it again. Henry with a good pass. Martin with a good reception. Takes it inside and draws the foul. I like the way Henry handles himself. You know, he never seems to be out too far out of control. He's always got the ball somewhere in front of him. And shoots it well. Makes the good pass when he has to. And I can say that about a lot of these Oklahoma players. They got a lot of them can do that. Really true. How about that big eight this year, Barry? You think they've got some good clubs in the I'll, league? I'll tell you, I know you saw Missouri, and we'll see them again and like them a lot. I had Kansas earlier in the year, and I thought, boy, that's a well-coached, well-talented basketball team. number of teams there can play. This Oklahoma team, of course. Oklahoma State, not a bad team, especially at home. Great talent. Tremendous talent. Leonard Hamilton's got as good a club as he'll ever have. Fryer, 0 for 9. Kimball. Fryer again. Oklahoma's packing that zone back inside. Fryer's going to let it go. They're letting him take it, too, and he's just not getting it to fall. He's 0 for his last 10 from three-point range. Evans controls the loose ball. Five-point sooner lead, four minutes to play. I think Oklahoma's going to run the ball a little bit, not take a shot. Look at this crowd upset. That's a first, isn't it? Davis down low. Turnaround off the glass. Too hard. Follows his own shot twice. Still won't go. Still keeps it alive. And finally, on the fourth try, he gets it to go. Nice effort by Davis. Or uh, Martin, I beg your pardon. All of a sudden, Loyola Marymount has gone very cold from the field. They can't buy one. Davis. Oh. Forget the ankle, I'm fine. 14 for Davis after a very slow first half. Peabody tries too hard. Pryor keeps the rebound alive for Steamer, who'll try it way outside and short. And they have gone ice cold. Two on one now at the other end. Henry. Kimball a rebound. Lions are going to have to get one back fairly quickly. Fryer again is short again. He's 0 for 11 now from three-point range. Evans, nice penetration, leaves it for Henry. Scores. Oklahoma really beginning to spread it out now. They need a timeout. They got it. Well called timeout by Paul Westhead with 2.37 left and the Sooners running away and hiding. They now lead. The reason they got this lead, Barry, is because they're so strong on the offensive glass. Watch again how they dominate it. Three tips, four, they got the rebound. Martin finally got the layup. That's what's killing Loyola Marymount right now. The fact that they're not able to convert those three point shots. And they just cannot go on that backboard with a taller, more physical Oklahoma team. The storyline in this one, Henry, 35 points in a huge second half. And look at the rebounding edge for Oklahoma. That's not really a surprise. They have out-rebounded everybody they play. They had an 18-per-game rebounding edge coming in here. Kimball has been Kimball, 44 points, picked up his fourth foul at about the 11-minute mark and has played ever since without picking up a fifth. But significantly, and maybe even more of the storyline, the fact that Fryer, who is perhaps their best three-point shooter, is 0 for his last 11 from three-point range. He'll try it again. And he got it. And it comes up time. They gotta make a real quick run here. They're down by eight. They're gonna have to get a couple of those patented threes to go. Patterson's wide open. Easy shot by Patterson. Patterson with 30 points now. Clearly his best. That could be offense. No block foul. Almost number five, but instead Kimball would go to the line. Tell you what, he was lucky he got away with that one. I thought it was charging from where I was sitting. It was, but the official had the better angle. And instead of Kimball fouling out, Martin fouls out.
that <laughs> strikes up happy trails. Tony Martin had a good ball game, 22 points. Who would like to score 22 points and not be your leading scorer? And 12 rebounds. 12 rebounds, too. So he's out of the game, but not nearly soon enough for Loyola. You know, two minutes and seven seconds left, it's a ten-point game, and you, I don't know about you, but I'm sitting here thinking this is not over. No, I, I feel the very same way. The only thing that's got to happen now, if Kimball makes these two free throws, they've got to go to a press immediately and get some turnovers against a good ball-handling Oklahoma team. And that's not an easy thing to do, although Oklahoma has turned it over more in this game than they have in their other four games this year. Should Oklahoma win this, a very good win for them on the road after a two-week layoff. There had to be a little bit of rust. Now they go back home and they play four of their next seven games at home. So Kimball gets them both. All right, they got to press. They got to come up with something. Almost a travel, but they got away with it. And now here's a turnover. Peabody with a cripple. Two on one the other way. Lowry trying to get back. Henry might have traveled. I think he did, but no call, and he makes the basket. You want to put it up. Somebody's got to get it up. Good Blocked job. nicely Patterson. by Patterson. Jones will wait for help. And Peabody fouls Patterson. Peabody's fourth. How about the block by Damon Patterson in the corner? Goes straight for it, gets his hand in the air, good block, saves the ball. You know, that's more important than anything. Not just the block of the ball, but to be able to keep it from going out of bounds, save it, come back. They got a chance to score a couple of free throws. And who's shooting them? The guy that blocked the ball. Damon Patterson, who, as you mentioned, is in the midst of a career game. Patterson shooting 30 points. He's been in the free throw line twice. He's made one. You see his season's average. He missed it. But a nice rebound by Davis and a putback. Big second half by William Davis. Remember, Davis, the leading scorer and leading rebounder for the Sooners, coming in here, playing on a very sore ankle. Kimball off the glass won't go. Alternating possession will go to the Lions. And we're going to get a timeout. And we talked about conditioning. And Loyola has gotten just a tad sloppy. Paul West is really upset. I mean, you can obviously see that right there. He thought a couple of fouls should have gone the other way down there. He really was upset about the traveling call, I think, on the other end when uh, Skeeter Henry went in for that layup. William Davis really has been very much a factor in the second half for Oklahoma, too, as has Skeeter Henry, I said, and William Davis also. Davis, in particular, with 14 points in the second half after a very slow first half. After the game, Sports Center with Tom Mee scores and highlights not only from college basketball, but a couple of games in the NFL, the NBA, and of course the National Hockey League. And Bowl Week coming up beginning December 29th here on ESPN. Starting with the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. A lot of offense in this one. Penn State and BYU, numbers 18 and 19. How about Penn State Nashville. deciding to go to the Big Ten? Huh? Yeah, that's good news to everybody, except I guess the Atlantic Ten is not too pleased with the basketball scene, are they? the Gator Bowl down in Jacksonville. That's on the 30th. Starts at 8 o'clock. Clemson and West Virginia. Major Harris playing maybe his last game as a West Virginia Mountaineer. What do you think? I think he'll stay. So do I, actually. I think, in fact, the National Football League is probably going to sit very hard on juniors coming out. Although, you know, that's something uh, you really can't stop. I mean, the NBA's been involved in that for a number of years. Of course, baseball doesn't have that same sort of situation, but... Uh, you know, the guy decides he wants to come out after that sophomore year or that junior year, there's no way you can stop him. And if he's available and he's a talent, I can promise you those guys are going to take him. Yeah, the theory being that any student on campus, any other student other than an athlete, can quit school and go to work anytime he wants. So why can't a football player or a basketball player? Well, then the question becomes, are you mature enough to handle it? I mean, you're 19, 20 years old going up against guys 30 and 35. Block. Another nice block by Henry. Steamer got it back. Fryer just with a man right in his pocket. Got him in the air, forced it up. It's short. Steamer, the follow, won't go. Somebody got a hand on it. And the ball's knocked out of bounds to Oklahoma. And that could do it. Loyola Marymount staying with that press. They need that turnover right now. And they got it. 
And here comes Lowry the other way with 53 seconds. Lowry tries a three, it's short. The rebound comes down to Davis. And again, releasing early, Henry to the basket. Henry cherry picking. We used to call that cherry picking. Evans almost made a great save there. You gotta like the Sooners, they are very deep. Fryer in the second half, despite the fact he has 29 points, only three of 17. Another try, three of 18. Henry controls the rebound, and Peabody is gonna be called for his fifth personal foul. And well, this one is history. Sooners gonna walk away with a big one here. That's a very good win for Billy Tuck's team. You know, the thing I said at the top of the show when I talked about what this club was up against Oklahoma, the fact that they're going on the road, playing a good, very offensive-minded team, obviously, and they were able to come out here and uh, pick up a win. And some pretty tough travel plans, too. Very tough. Always tough to come into a, a place like this, which really does have a home floor advantage. But these two teams still very comparable. You don't want to make excuses for Loyola, the fact that Hank Gathers did not play. Certainly that is a difference. William Davis, though, not 100%, despite the fact that he had an outstanding second half for Oklahoma. It would be fun to have Davis healthy and Gathers healthy. Let's play one more time. It's terrific, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, you made the point, too, that it's got to be very difficult when you get to tournament time to prepare to play either one of these teams. Henry now has 40 points. By far his best effort. He's got a nice shot. He turns the ball over well. Good rotation. Nothing but the bottom. 25 was his career high coming in here tonight. Now he has 41. Kimball won't get that one. Patterson has the rebound with 24 seconds left. Foul called on Lowry. Line foul number 20 for Lowry. That's the second first And let's finish up our bowl picture, the All-America Bowl with Duke and Texas Tech. That I'm quite certain will be Steve Spurrier's last game as the coach of Duke. And I'll tell you, they got an outstanding receiver there, Clarkson Hines, who people tell me just simply does not make mistakes. Great hands. I've seen them play a couple of times this year. Great hands. Davis will try to make his 18th point of this ball game. That was a little hard. And Kimball controls it with 18 seconds left. Bo stops and tries the three, won't go. Fryer has it. He tries it, that's a two, and it still won't go. Very tough shooting night for Fryer. And this one, as Jones can't quite get the shot off, this one is over. 